there can only be one place that'll push your Forby to the absolute limit. What was that? You thought you've seen it all. There's a lot of metal to have in the bottom of a diff. Think again. Unbelievable! That is one of the coolest things I've seen off road. What is wrong with you? Probably the longest wheel I've ever seen. Yeah. There we go. Whoa. 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 Yeah. You never know what you're going to get when you take on Queensland's mecca of four wheel driving, the Glasshouse Mountains. Oh. To the right, to the right. Oh. One of the loosest things I've ever seen. Get out of the vehicle. We've actually got quite a serious situation. We need to secure the vehicle or it's going to get real ugly. Oh my God. Well, pretty excited at the moment because we're in the Glasshouse Mountains and uh, driving the B30. We've got a pretty mean convoy. We're going to be up for a load of fun, I reckon. Uh, hey, Graham, copy, mate. Yeah, buddy, I gotcha. Get a bit of dust in that shiny new rig of yours, mate. Glasshouse Mountains, home of hard tracks. I can't wait to dive into this one. 1,707.5 kilometres on the odometer, my friend. Wowzers, mate. And there are going to be a couple of hard Ks coming up next for the poor old girl. We've got some pretty cool tracks planned. Jesse's leading the convoy. Mate, what have you got in store for us? I haven't quite worked it out yet. I'm going to sort of make it up as I go along, but I reckon we're going to test out that new D-Max, that's for sure. And round the convoy off. Got big as up the back there. As I'll oh, tell you what, mate, you're going to love this place. It's going to be one of your new favourite parts of Australia. Yeah, I've always wanted to come up here, mate, so I'm sure this big old rig is going to make it pretty interesting for me. I know, I know this is the case, mate, but get used to driving on three wheels. <laughs> Yeah, I've been having some practice, mate. Don't you worry. Jesse's lined up some of the tougher tracks Glasshouse has to offer, including a run along the power line tracks, ending in, you guessed it, Big Red. With my jewelers down to a respectable level, we're going to waste no time in getting stuck in. Oh, this has changed a little bit. Jeepers creepers. Yeah. Look at all the water. This used to be full of water. <laughs> you could have jumped off here and not touched the bottom. It was yeah. that deep. So there's hardly any water now, but the rock steps has not changed. It's still Ooh. big. Just for <laughs> reference, I'm going to give it one Graham test. Just give it the old. Oh, yep. It's a fair it's old a, rock step. <laughs> not as much traction as you'd like. No, there's not. Well, Jesse's yeah, up first. He's going to give us a cracking big Daryl. Yeah, I might need your guys' help. Well, yeah. you sort of point me up the right way. Yeah, we went great, and I spot him. I'll yeah. go the left. I'll spot the left side of the vehicle. Yeah. You go the right. Right, I yeah. done. That, that always goes well. <laughs> right, right, yeah. <laughs> Remember, left hand down is your right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I'll go the opposite. On left is left. Yep. Done. Oh. Oh, look at that. Jeepers. He's creepers. a bit sketchy on the throttle of Jesse. <laughs> he's nervous. Yeah, he's he, he's hit oh, Interesting. Interesting. This is Jesse's backyard. Yep. Look at you go. The beautiful control there, Jesse Gleason. That hole gets significantly smaller when you put a car in it. Yeah. Oh, he's oh, got it. No reset yet. No. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Mate, hey, it's no so challenge. There's no oh, mud in the bottom. No, oh. challenge accepted. I'll make this look harder. Just for you boys. Just for you boys. Okay? If there's a man for the job. <laughs> <laughs> fall in there, it's all kinds of panel damage. Oh, bonus line. He's down the bonus line. Oh, I get it. Jesse has driven the climb well, but it's pretty easy when you're in a rental, hey mate? <laughs> all right, let's see how the rest of the convoy go. I'm playing a bit of a joke on Shane here, we're just trying to make this a little bit slipperier for him. <laughs> yeah, it can get a flash flood out here occasionally, you gotta be careful. It's a uh, 50% chance of precipitation, I reckon. 75% chance. Oh heck, 100% chance of rain. Yeah. What a little stitch up. <laughs> Absolute stitch up. There you go. Who needs mates? I'll, I'll be honest with you. That's it. We're dropping down. <laughs> it's a point of no return. There's, there was a little bit of rain in between you and me. Oh, so I got a little bit wet. Yeah. Terrible. Ooh. At least you won't get any dust in there. <laughs> That's a key. Oh, oh look at the flex. Too easy. Up we go! This bit's not going to feel great. I reckon I'm going to bottom out there. It is off camping. Yeah, big time. 
You're wrong about that, as when you go through there. <laughs> All right, I reckon I'm going to try the line Jesse took. I mean, what could go wrong? Interesting line. Oh, he's gone over that way. Jeepers. Are we on a bad line, I, I, Jess? I'd almost steer up here now, because you know when you're back, yeah, I'd, I'd keep coming at that. Oh, no. <laughs> Committing? <laughs> no. Actually. Well, if you steer that way, the back, it's not going to be nice. Just, just see how it feels. See how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jesse, mate, I'm having tazzy flashbacks, and we're not even a day into the trip. Yeah. Now start to see the other way. Yeah, beautiful. Just to get the bum across. Look at that. Yeah, perfect. Now see hard left. Hard left. Hey, aren't you slider, are you? You have to go back hard right and hard left, but that worked good to get the bum across. Hard right and hard left. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of left. <laughs> <laughs> left right out. This is... Why, why, why make my legs shake this early in the day, boys? <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. It's, there That's you this go. Way a bit more. This way, this way. Oh, this way. Going on super bonus. What's he doing? Bonus, keep man. going, keep going. I'm not out of the wood yet, apparently. Good way to start the day when your legs are shaking. You, you got these little weird wet patches <laughs> formed in between your legs. It's, no, that's how I normally drive. <laughs> Well, in true Shawno fashion, he made an absolute meal of that. Yeah. But he's up, and I'm at the bottom, so I shouldn't speak too soon. Oh, <laughs> settle down, everyone. All oh, right, Jesse wouldn't have done that. Oh, they're pulling that. <laughs> yeah, it's come out early. It's come out early. <laughs> so the vash blades are full. This tow bar's going to make a big bang. Yep, there we go. Oh, yes. Yep, oh, yep. Straighten up, straighten up. Little, Little back, back and, and forth. forth. From there? From yep. there, yeah. Bit of, bit of bunt. Yeah! Oh, oh. Oh. oh! So close. Very close. <laughs> did I bottom out? I thought I did. Yeah, you bottomed out and sort of pivoted on yourself. Yeah. Jesse was saying he would have done a different line. Is it Woody? Yeah, he said. Well, why didn't he tell me that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll just move a couple of these rocks. Yep. Now, this is a rock step where you really do have to commit, and if you don't, you end up in this situation right here. The D-Max has slid off the rock, and it's now leaning very close to a big tree stump on the left. Jesse's packed up some rocks under the left rear tyre, and I'm going to see if I can feather my way through this one without doing any damage. Real gentle. You might have it. Back's going to climb. Yeah, keep coming. Real you gentle. Might have it. Real gentle. You might yeah, have that's it. Good. Oh, Keep that's coming. so close to that stump, eh? Oh, you're right. Keep coming. Keep coming. You're right. You're right. Real gentle. Keep going. Keep going, because it might level up soon. Bring your mirror Keep in. Keep going. Real gentle. Yep, 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 yep. Stop there. Well, I gave it my best shot, but I'm interested in keeping this new D-Max somewhat undamaged for as long as possible. As you can see, the D-Max is quite a lean towards the stump. Now, we want to try and savour those panels and not do too much damage. So we're going to use the Max Tracks to pack up this rear tyre. Now, as that starts to climb up, it's going to uh, level the vehicle a little bit and take it away from that stump. And at the same time, put in a winch on the side, pull the vehicle over. The thing is, the D-Max can easily drive this. It was actually had heaps of, you know, traction here. But the problem is that stump is just so close to the panels, the canopy. So take a bit of precaution. Well, that was executed perfectly. Good work, fellas. But I'm only up stage one of three. Yeah, that's, a, that's a speed. That's a speed, in a way. Stop there. Doesn't feel too bad to me. How far off the ground is it? Oh, it's only about a foot if you were a giant. <laughs> <laughs> One subway in the air. One subway in the air. Oh, there's about four subways. That's still got two metre fraction. Now, it's got to get worse before it gets better, so enjoy this bit. That's it, keep going, keep going. Drive through this one like a boss. Like a boss. Look at it go. You're going to have to rotate your tyres. This one's another work. Yeah, now 
I slightly steer up again now. Yeah. Well it's probably the longest wheelie I've ever seen. Straighten her up. <laughs> Just drive like that all the way back to camp, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long wheel lift. Yeah, that's your ticket. A little bit up the bank if you want. That's the stuff. To me, to me. Yep, yep. It's just lovely steer, mate. That's a really good steer. That's a ticket. Yeah, Felt like it was well played. Well, I've got to say, I reckon the D-Max ate up Canyon Hill. Most of you might think I'm crazy taking a nice touring rig like this up climbs like this. At the end of the day, I'm out here to push the limits of the D-Max and really see what it can do in every aspect of four-wheel driving. And it never ceases to amaze me just what this rig can do. Well, if Graham was lifting wheels, I reckon we'll be in for a show because the Mitz truck, let's just say Aaron's gotten used to driving that thing on three wheels. Taking a bonus line through there. <laughs> Have a little crawly boy. That's it. Oh, well, well done. done. Well done. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I thought you'd roll it then. Well, as has done a good job navigating the big rig through there, but the canopy is taking a beating. So crunching. Uh, go down, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a pulley on the bank. Yeah. That's wild. That's pretty next level. There was not much holding that from not rolling over then, eh? No, Woo! My leg is shaking big time. Your canopy's held up beautifully. You you were literally on your side. It was the full weight of the 79. It was on this side of the canopy. It was literally, and it would have rolled rolled over. There was no bank there. You just drove on your side of your canopy all the way up. And, and you know what? It's in great condition too. The only problem was these these ones. Yeah, hey, I was watching these two directing you. I was like, oh, I'd hate to be you. Because you're going like this and you go, a yeah. little bit left. Yeah. You're going to do this. I wanted, I wanted to keep that wheel up in the air the whole way through. I was going to chime in and go, up. up. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's Canyon done and dusted. The entry point to a long run along the power lines which takes you all the way to Little Red and then of course, Big Red. But in between lies a gnarly bunch of steep ruts and wild climbs, and we're gonna take them all on. Well, look, this is a great little track, isn't it, mate? They call it D-Max Canyon, because yeah. <laughs> the last D-Max that tried this one. Still here. <laughs> <laughs> no, mate, I'm just gonna idle up this. It's not even a, not even a thing. You just probably just drive on three wheels, right? Yeah? That's your new wheels, thing. Yeah. There's a lot of black on the rocks, which makes me think this is a little harder than it looks. I reckon you'll be fine. Okay. Get the heat in the tyre, yeah. transfer it to the rocks. <laughs> yep. Smoke means Moving left, right, good night. That's what you need here. <laughs> All right, I will not be listening to you. Let's give this a go, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> we'll do this in one smooth motion, I reckon. Oh, different line. Bonus, Bonus line. Bonus line. He's proving me wrong. <laughs> Nice. A little bit of tyre squeal. Quite amazing. Is there anything that thing can't do? Rightio. Send up the dirtiest to the 30s. Hello. It's like firecrackers during the day. Yeah, a lot is. of smoke, a lot yeah. of noise, but not a lot to see. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've seen two big vehicles get up here with the 35s, all the rest of it. Two big blokes might out as well. <laughs> little truck, little bloke coming up now. But if he gets his line right, you never know. I'm gonna try and take it nice and gentle up through here. Not shock load anything. Now, the two big rigs make these steps look pretty easy, but the D-Max is on smaller tyres, so I'm really going to have to try and pick my line through this one and work the throttle. Yay! <laughs> he's coming, he's coming at great speed. Bring her up. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh, oh damn, oh. mate! Oh. Oh. I thought that was going into me then. <laughs> my goodness! <laughs> 
back over an immediate halt. <laughs> well, I reckon that was a great run right until the end. But I've just got hung up on the last undercut step at the top. We're going to chuck a couple of max tracks in, and in theory, they should work to just pop me over. Yeah! Well, I uh... What a drive! How's that? Perfect. Perfect drive. Yes! That's awesome with the correct spotting, a couple of max tracks just to get that dip up. I mean, oh, this big. It it's, a, it's, it's a huge, we use the max tracks as a ramp this time. So instead of trying to get a little 31 inch tire in a spot where it shouldn't go, it just went up a ramp. And as you saw, it worked an absolute treat. Doesn't hang around, does he? There we go. Oh, Jeepers. Yeah, yeah. That is exactly what I wanted. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thanks, yes. I've got to say that was a heck of a lot of fun. So far, the rigs have really proved themselves. <laughs> We're slowly making progress and have little red and big red in our sights. But there's one more hill we need to conquer before we get there. And as its name suggests, it might be a bit of a challenge. Alright, I've just been informed that this is Send It Hill. Now, if that's anything to go by, I think there's only one way to drive it, and that's give it the send. Oh, nearly had a conniption walking up here. Alright, Jesse. <laughs> Good luck, mate. This is actually quite steep when you walk up it. Yeah, it's, a, it's quite a little challenge, this hill. That's how you drive, boys. That's that's impressive. <laughs> that's really impressive. Trailer plugs hanging down. His jerry cans about to explode on the back. Straight up the hill. Well, I've seen how it's done, and to be honest, Jesse didn't instill a lot of confidence in me. <laughs> what was that? I don't think your rear locker's working, eh? Go to the front center. Oh! Oh! Well, I definitely gave it a bit of a full send, but that's not exactly the sound you want to hear coming from the underneath your vehicle. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> little bit too much send. I um, I don't think my rear locker was working. No, it, we it didn't was, see the wheel yeah, spin. Yeah, you wouldn't have. I was going much. too quick for that, but it, it didn't feel like <laughs> yeah. it was because it didn't grab me. What I think it see like that lump on the right. It hit that, and then that sort of just unbalanced the whole car, and it was just it sort yeah. of bounced all, all over. over. Yeah, it wasn't overly pretty. I'll say no, that. When you landed. No, it, it didn't. It sounded like front center. Yeah, it does feel like that. Yeah. Kadunk, kadunk, kadunk. That's the first thing I thought. Like a Gatling gun. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 So it, I was in drive to start with, so it went second. Then I went, oh, no, no, hang on. Hang on. Put yeah. it back, I put it down to first, and then I just I jumped on it, and it... Was really, that just first? Yeah. It's got a bit of go. Yeah, it launched. That was wild. It really did launch. Yeah. Unfortunately, on the wrong spot to launch it. Let's so, just see. I'm going to unlock this hub and go back and forth and see if we can hear noises. Well, Sean gave it a little too much send on Send and Hill. We think he's done his front center. That's sort of a weak point in 80 shoes because they're a lot smaller. Same as the Hilux. But, um... We're just going to check if it's not a CV. We're hoping it's a CV because he's got spares. We think it might be a front center. This will diagnose it if, if it... This one won't spin because this is bugging. Now, it's never easy to diagnose a potentially huge breakage like this on the side of the tracks. That one was spinning. We've got a pretty good idea of what it is, a blown front center. But to be sure, what I'm going to do is poke my nose up the track and have a look and see what is spinning at the front end. Sounds, just go again. Sounds center. Sounds on this side though. We, we can always jack it up and pull that side apart and have a look. Yeah, I can feel that over here, touching the pumpkin. Center. I've got two centers at home actually. Oh, do, you want to just, do you want to just winch up from here? Yeah. Do you want to just winch up? Yeah, probably the go. Well, a diagnosis of a blown front centre is a pretty big showstopper, but 
I've got a perfectly good second hand centre sitting inside old sooty back in my shed, which isn't too far from the tracks. But first things first, we need to winch the 30 off this hill so I can come up with a game plan that hopefully means the 30 can be back on the tracks in no time. Well mate, sadly it's not a CV, what do you reckon? I know, I, I, I knew straight away it was a dip centre. Yeah. I didn't want to tell myself that, I wanted to really... I liked your positive thinking, I was hardly fingers crossed for you. We, we needed to diagnose it I suppose at the yeah. end of the day because there's so many times where we haven't diagnosed exactly, things properly yeah. and it's been something lesser than we thought. Yeah. Unfortunately we really do think it's a diff centre and um, if there's a silver lining, I, I do have a spare one at home. Alright Azza, give it a go and try not to break anything. Oh! I told you, watch that mirror! <laughs> Get out of the way. A front shot mirror. Watch that mirror! Woo! Oh no, that door. Oh, I broke the door. You broke the door and the mirror. Oh, no, and all hope. Door's That's a big <laughs> Big damage. Oh, I thought that, that, was, that was big damage. You see the door? Well, no one wants to do panel damage, but sometimes you've got to pay to play, especially in the Glasshouse Mountains. Well, boys, sorry about that. The old uh, front centre, that's a, that's a bit of a nasty one to try and fix track sides. So I've had a bit of an idea. I've got the parts I need sitting at home in old OG sooty. So we might just nick back to my place, jump up on the hoist and uh, do it tonight. So I'm back on the tracks tomorrow. Look mate, don't be sorry, that was very spectacular to watch. But yeah, that sounds like a good plan. At least we won't miss any wheel and then we might miss one night's camp, but we'll get it going and yeah, get back on the tracks. I reckon, um, Jesse, if you give us a hand, mate, we might shoot back. Um, we're not that far from, from the glassy, so we'll do that. Graham, you uh, get a bit of beauty sleep, mate. You might need it. Yeah, mate, I did offer to uh, run back with you if you need a halfway decent mechanic, but I guess you know if you don't, you can take Jesse. That's fine. With the boys heading back to camp for the night, Jesse and I hit the road and head south, with the goal of getting the front centre out of old soot and putting it back into the 30. A couple of hours of driving, a full diff rebuild, all in an Arvo's work, well, let's give it a crack. We've made it back to Land Cruiser HQ, Sean's backing it down. I'm gonna go straight on the hoist. It's time to get to work. I'm actually surprised we got here before the lights went out. It's getting a bit dark though. I reckon if we are done before 10 p.m., we're doing all right. We've got to get that out of there and put it into there. Had a bit of a minor hurdle, but we've got the diff out, pulling it apart. Looks like a brand new one. There you go. Got to be history this one. Yeah. Done Seen some a few tracks. Would have done a few tracks. Look at the state of the vehicle. And have a look at the state of the diff center. The maintenance is always up to scratch. Preventive maintenance is key. We haven't even actually diagnosed mine properly yet. I mean, I'm pretty sure it is a centre. We, we know that from the tracks, but we haven't actually pulled it apart yet. When we drain the oil, it's going to be pretty funny to see. See what happens, hey? Quite chunky, I reckon. Oh, oh, look at that. That's a pretty telltale sign. There's teeth out. Yeah, I thought there'd be more. Maybe oh, they're all in the bottom. They're, they're, they're so big, probably. Yeah. Sitting in there. Here we go. Here it comes. Whoa. Couple of teeth. I don't know if it's meant to look like that, eh? It's missing a lot. This is what you need to remove out of the dish. Oh, look at that. I've gone and broke it. No <laughs> doubt about that. There's a lot of teeth. That's a lot of metal to have in the bottom of a diff. Zenith in, tail shafts on, airlines connected. CV's in this side, hub's on, just about to do the bearings up. And it's starting to get a bit late, too. <laughs> so I won't lie. 11.09, we're about to have touchdown. There we go. If I've learned anything about today, it's be a little bit more controlled on the drive. <laughs> I, I really let myself and the team down, <laughs> but guess what? It was spectacular watch. We're back on the tracks. We've hardly missed a beat too, Jesse. <laughs> Couldn't have done without you, mate. Well, with a new front and rear centre in the 30, it's good to go. And I'm stoked because tomorrow we take on the rest of the power lines track and Graham gets himself into a bit of mischief and has us all shaky down our boots. 
How you going, guys? Hope you're enjoying today's episode. Now, Fulcrum currently have 50% off their Click and Fit, so it means you can get online, choose a suspension you want to give your truck a birthday and save 50% off the installation. But hurry up because this offer ends on the 31st of March. So jump on the website real quick and give your truck a bit of a birthday. Now, if you ever wanted to catch up with myself and Graham and you're in the Southeast Queensland region, maybe the glass house of your local tracks, We'll come down and see us at the Brizzy Four Wheel Drive Show. Now, the best way to do that is to jump on the website 4x4show.com.au and when you order your tickets online, use the promo code Four Wheel Drive 24 7. It can't be that easy. You're going to save money and get your tickets up front. Now, where can you find Graham and myself? Well, you'll see us on stage twice a day and down at the Snap Stand. Now, the dates, now mark these ones in your diary. It's between the 17th and the 19th of March. So, I can't wait to catch up with you guys. I'll see you there. Jesse, it's good to have a bit of dirt back under those tyres, mate. Oh yeah, how good is that, mate? What a bloody effort. A monumental effort, mate. What we did last night, most people take them about a, a week. It was a late one, but it's good to be back on the tracks. Oh, definitely worth it if it means we're out here wheeling again for another day. How good's the weather look? Good weather. I'm twin locked again, and uh, the day is ours, mate. Boys! <laughs> Welcome back, brother. How are you going? The brain's behind the operation. Yeah, that's it. He, he had me working hard, yeah. <laughs> Well, I've got to say, it's good to be back in action in the 30. There's no excuse now. Anything that goes wrong is definitely the driver. What is that? That hub was out. The hub will drive up there now, I reckon. <laughs> in two wheel drive. That's a stitch up. Yeah, we're back and have another go. This is my first day off road. That helps. A little bit of four wheel drive. We've poked our noses back in about halfway along the power lines track to finish the run we started yesterday with the aim of tackling Little Red and, well, at least having a look at Big Red. Call it redemption, but I'm keen to finish what we had started. The show must go on. Now, the run to Little Red consists of a few climbs that aren't crazy hard but require you to be pretty precise in wheel placement. What you can't see here is that on both sides of this hill, there's a boggy marsh that is sure to suck in a vehicle. So you've got to thread your 4B through what ends up to be quite a narrow track. Now, Jesse and Sean have done this well. I, on the other hand, made it look a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. You can see there my right rear tyre sinking in the mud. So I'm going to take a line further over to the left and try and miss that hole. Just drive through that. This is proving to be quite the obstacle. The D-Max wants it, but as soon as I lift the wheel, I'm losing the traction I need. And I'm hesitant to send it too hard because on the other side, well, there's quite a drop off. Just uh, making a bit of a rant for the D-Max. There's a bit of a hole there. It's just stopping it from climbing up. And you can probably drive it a bit harder and get up, but very sketchy. So make his job a lot easier. Line, good line, up you go. Give it a little drive. Yep. Yeah, no, you're there, you're there. Oh, oh, oh. Come back, we'll just replace those max tracks. Am I on the right line to miss that big tree stump? Yep. Back off. Right, to the right, to the right. Where's he going? Oh, yeah. To the right, to the right. Stop! Get out of the vehicle! <laughs> what, didn't, what, what was he doing? Well, it's he didn't turn right. I think Taylor Swift was I couldn't see a thing, hey! You were about to die! Oh my god! That's not good. Don't, don't go anywhere. Don't, don't, don't move. Don't go anywhere. That, <laughs> How safe am I here? No, no. no. You want to get a winch out or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's do it quick. Yeah. Like now. Leave it straight that tree. Yeah. Wow. We were just, you know, actually discussing this. When you come over some of the, these hills in the glass house, you can't see what's on the other side. 
Now Graham was like looking at what line to take, but he didn't see this massive drop off and he's nearly, he's nearly driven off it. So we actually got quite a serious situation. We need to secure the vehicle. Both tyres on the other side are actually off the cliff edge. So we want to try and secure it that side. We might even bring As down and put a rear winch on just to hold him as well. We don't want that back slipping over or it's going to get real ugly. Yeah, look, come on, it's not my finest moment. But all jokes aside, things like this do happen. And the boys are straight into action in getting the DMAX secured so we can hopefully pull it to safety. Well, it went a bit pear-shaped there. I just couldn't see what I was doing and I knew there was a big drop off on this side, so I was very conscious of not going too far to the driver's side. But what I didn't take into account was that there's an equally big, if not bigger, <laughs> drop off on the left-hand side. So I think we just put this down to kook them, but I just couldn't get traction. And yeah, just kept skidding over to one side. And unfortunately, nearly binned a brand new D-Max. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my God. We've got the runver hooked up to the front, but we're actually going to get the mitts truck down to hook up a winch on a pulley block to the rear of the vehicle as well. This means as we winch the D-Max forward, we can also pull the bum across as we winch up, and in theory, pull the whole vehicle off the edge and to safety. All right, stop, stay there. In theory, your rear can't slide that way anymore. Yeah, you're right, winch, yep. And I'll just winch in gently as it goes up. This is gnarly. Slowly but surely, we're recovering the D-Max and it's all looking pretty good. Yeah, your passenger's gonna come over a tree stump, but this will be good because your front will be fully on four wheels. It's actually doing good. It's sliding you up around this, this log. It's actually really good. From there, you're gonna have to do a little drive, just a little bit of a drive. <laughs> Yeah, keep going in, 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 in. Yep, perfect. In, in, in. Keep holding in. Keep holding in. Keep holding in because it's about to go down again. Keep going, keep stop, going. Stop, Slow stop, down, Graham. Stop. I don't want to pull him too far this way. I'm going to just walk with the winch and steer this way. And you just keep going in a little bit, as because he's going to drop down on the back again. Right, right. You can have a little drive. Go in. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, just hold it in as he goes forward. Perfect. You're out of the trees. Just stop now, I'll I'm on cut. Back on solid <laughs> land. <laughs> that, that, was that was one was of the loosest things I've ever seen. Absolutely. I You're think not, if that- I'm a bloke who's just come from Tasmania and done some pretty gnarly yeah. things. <laughs> I think if that was one of the bigger cars, the bank would have crumbled and the car would have leaned over and rolled for sure. You're lucky. Oh, let me have a look at what I'm dealing with here. Cause to me, you're all making a fuss over nothing. <laughs> this was your rear diff, pumpkin. So your, your wheel was over there in the yeah, air. Your, your, front, was, was your, your front. front was down there. Holy balls. <laughs> <laughs> your front was like there. How did I not roll down there? We, we just, don't know. We, we kept going. We were like, stop. We're like, right, just, right, right. <laughs> and you got that little look again like yeah. yesterday. That white line <laughs> baby. We thought you were rolled over. That would have been horrible rolling yeah. off there. Bro. It wouldn't have been good. It would have been on its roof. Look at like new dirt that's pushed. Like you've mm. actually, a fair bit of the bank did go as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that was wild. I thought you were gone fully. Yeah. I think if it was a heavier, bigger car, it would have been gone. Yeah. I've lost my oh, words for a second I'm, there, mate. I'm I, way shookerer now that I've seen what oh. I uh, nearly got into. Jess, you know, this is, I guess it shows just how quickly things can go yeah, wrong shape. off road because yep. it was all pretty straightforward. Graham obviously didn't see the drop, no. so he was actually steering towards it. Now, <laughs> unbelievable it didn't go over. Oh, I don't know how. I think I think the key takeaway from this is we took a bit of time, even, even though you're in a really bad situation, it's a bit of a time to work out the proper recovery yep. method. Because if we just chucked the front winch on, I reckon it would have gone over on yeah, the no, front the winch. Yeah, the front would have stopped it either. We just pivoted on the winch yeah, and got exactly, over. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. we um, took the time and um, well, safety thanks, first. And it was, a, it was a good recovery. Yeah, no, it worked well. Oh, All yeah. right. I did not realise how in peril I was. <laughs> <laughs> well, as Taylor Swift says, let's shake it off. <laughs> well, Graham's happy to be on all fours again, but I don't think he'll instill too much confidence in poor Azza. Let's take the big rig up. Smooth. It's fast. Fast is smooth. 
Nice one, mate. Oh, it's amazing what happened when you take the right line. <laughs> <laughs> mate, how was that? Well, yeah, you tried out to do it. <laughs> let's get to the hard track. Like, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Well, with that little bit of drama out of the way, it's on to what is considered one of the harder challenges in the glasshouse, Little Red. It's taken us the better part of two days, a broken front centre and a nearly rolled D-Max, but we've finally made it and the boys are frothing to give it a go. Mate, we're coming to the pointy end of this glasshouse trip, although <laughs> some might say I've sharpened the pointy end a little bit too sharp on my side. Um, what do you reckon, mate? Little red and then uh, poke your nose up? Yeah, look, little red, definitely. Um, I'm just gonna have a look at big red. I don't wanna lock it in just yet. I know I talk pretty tough around the campfire at times, but uh, different story when you see it. Now, look, you've seen us tackle this track a couple of times before. A series of insanely big rock steps and ruts you gotta navigate through. But two things are different this time. One, I got a brand new shiny D-Max that's barely done a thousand Ks, and two, You've never seen the big Mitz truck tackle this one. So, it should make for some pretty interesting drives. But before Sean and I take this on, Jesse's up first. And something tells me he's gonna make this look way easier than it really is. All right, come on, Jesse. Oh, what? What? That's the line. That's, that's... He's making this, this is like, this is a master class of Little Red. Oh. Bonus line! Oh, oh, oh. oh. No, oh. He's been running so good this whole trip. Uh oh. One cylinder, two, two, two cylinders. There we go. Yeah, got him. What? Good drive, Jesse. It certainly helps when you spend more time out here than at home. Jesse grew up wheeling these tracks, so he knows them like the back of his hand. Don't know what happened there, but Daryl got a bit nervous on the bonus line. Uh, the first time he's actually sort of played up with this trip since the electronic ignition. But um, thank goodness he started. Drove the bonus line easy. Cheap trucks. You don't need the biggest dollar thing to get out of here, kids. Hey, That's just silly. Hold my UHF. <laughs> Here we Show go. Us our stuff. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> good, good luck. Oh no. Lockers on. I think I'll lead them. Righto, Sean, sure, mate. How are you feeling? It's a big hill. It definitely gets bigger every time I drive this. It really oh, does. I'm just going to pass you over to Graham now. He said he's going to guide you up here. <laughs> I want no <laughs> I want nothing to do with this. It's a nice car in there for the size. Well, I've seen the line I need to take. Now it's my time to give it a crack. Beautifully driven, mate. That was bloody awesome. Oh, helps when you get the good line, eh? That was that, lovely. That was, uh, that felt good. Really good. Nice. Oh, you had it. You cooked it. You Just had that. Fell off. I know. I was there. Nah. Creep back. Go back a little bit more. Ah, uh, backed off just to the last minute and I've sort of cooked it. Now my rear's falling in the hole. Yeah, go on that, mate. That rear's yeah. like right in there. I'm gonna have another go at this. Yeah. Oh, big boy. Well done. <laughs> Yeah, mate, um, just up here, there's a hard left-hand turn you have to take. So it's just coming up on your left now. Yeah, start going left now. Hard left, hard left, hard left, hard No, 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 hard left. Hard left. You got it in ya. Back back a little bit and go hard left. Yeah, beautiful. Hard left now. Yeah, that's it. All right, Jesse, but last time you spotted me on a cliff, things didn't exactly end well. Keep going. Oh, you got the bonus. Keep going. Beautiful. Keep hard, no, keep hard this way, hard this way. Give it a drive now. Yep, hard to you, hard to you. Keep going, hard, hard to you. Hey? Go back a little bit. Stop there and then go hard that way. Yeah, give it a drive. Beautiful, mate, beautiful. You're a crazy man. How good you 
big peer pressure. He drove past it, made him back back, and he drove it. Good on him. Yeah, good. <laughs> Crazy. So you want helps to have mates that spot you? Because I wouldn't have done that on my own. I don't reckon there was some good lines in there. It was a team effort that drive. <laughs> You know what it is? I, I'm hopeless with peer pressure. Someone's like, yeah, you should do it. Oh, you could definitely do it. I'm like, I'm you, doing you it. You actually reversed back and did it. I yeah, was very I, impressed. I was like, you're right. I'm going to give that a go. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. I was so easy convinced. I was confident at the start of the drive. I'm not driving the bonus on. <laughs> then you, my rubber arms, I'll tell you what, they're easy to twist. <laughs> well, that was all time. But with Graham's blunder earlier in the day, I'm going to suggest he just sticks to the normal track for this one. Yeah, keep driving it, keep driving it. This is a thing of beauty to watch. Yeah, and then give that a bit of a gusto. Nicely done, nicely done. Yes! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> <take it. Yeah! laughs> He's made that look easy. That was a beautiful drive. Yeah, you'll roll up that. Yep, yep, you got that. Just keep it going, keep it going. A little bit to me, a little bit to me. To me. Oh, you wanted it. You wanted Once it. it. Go back. Give it one more go. It was a solid effort. Solid effort. When it comes to tough wheeling a touring rig like this, you've got to know your limits. And there ain't no problem in using a winch to help you get through the tougher sections. With a couple of tugs and a few more wheel lifts, the D-Max is up and has kind of conquered Little Red. This Forby, I tell you, it never ceases to amaze me. Now, speaking of wheel lifts, the Mitz truck is up, and let's just say it's gonna be nothing short of spectacular. Oh, perfect. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I thought that, oh. I could see that slipping. Yeah, yeah, you need to come across it to the bank a bit more. Yeah. Perfect. Done. Perfect. Drive. Done. Woo! Top drive. So far, as has steered the big girl up well, but this undercut section may pose some trouble. That way, that way, that way. Ah, oh, he's in the front half. Little bit more. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Steer hard this way. No, he's right in that hole. It's not for everyone, that bit. I'm happy to winch. <laughs> As got up the first step beautifully, but the undercut bit has caught him out in the exact same way as it did with the 30. He's fallen into the hole and the rear of his tray is now hard up against the bank. Jeez. A lot of things going on there. Oh. <laughs> got a bit on back here. <laughs> there goes the sideboard. <laughs> As it's been a little bit hard on the gear here, this whole side, he's hit the bank and ripped it off. But they're a pretty strong thing, he hit this yesterday. And um, I think it's actually gonna go back on sweet and we'll clip it back on. Woo. Don't scratch it, mate. <laughs> Try not to. Look at that, like a bought one. It's good to know these Mitch trays can handle the tough stuff. Lovely. I didn't even need Lovely. it. Lovely. By Joe. Lovely, mate. Don't forget my car's there. Whoa. Beautiful. That's perfectly done. Over, over this side now. Over this left, way. Left, this side, way left, 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 left. <laughs> You're going to do a Graham. Left, left, left. left. <laughs> Woo. Well, I'm pretty impressed with how everyone drove that. Little Red is a solid challenge for every level of four-wheel driver. Yep. Right up. It's been a wild couple of days in the Glasshouse Mountains, and we've put in some solid hours of wheeling. So it's natural that there's one thing on our mind, and that is a nice coldie, and maybe even a meal from Chef Whale tonight at camp. But before we get there, there's one more gnarly climb that will get us off this track. Hang on a second, I just realised something. Jesse didn't drive up here with us. Second time I've driven Dara up Big Red, Jesse, you absolute freaking madman. You just couldn't help yourself, could you? Well, I'll be done. I don't know, I don't know how to spot him. 
too high, I reckon. Yeah. Oh. Left hand down and back, I reckon. Yeah, that's you. Nah. Nah, you have to go further go, back. Go a bit, bit further back. Oh. He's in one of those moods. He's not taking advice. No. The jerry can come out. Oh, well, that was going to happen. Long range tank. He's, he's, he's ejecting weight. Yeah, he's taking some weight out. That's 23 kilos. I feel like he's coming up or putting it on his lid, one of the two. That's better. That's better. Uh. Got to come up here, eh? Yeah, that's it. 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 Get out of the bloody way. That's it. That's it. Yeah! You're not right in the head, dude. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Jesse. That's what? The... You give me a heart attack. No, it's not feasible. A ball's that up. That'll be dusty. Outback challenge. Oh, Jesse, we would be saying stuff, but we don't know what to say. Well, I'll be stuffed. I've seen some things in my time, but watching Jesse drive Daryl up Big Red, this one I'll remember forever. This is it for the title, for the Glasshouse Captain. He's up! What? <laughs> what do you do now? It just shot up. And of course, Jesse isn't one to shy away from a challenge, so why not try the bonus line? My days! <laughs> what? What is wrong with you? Incredible! Unbelievable! That is one of the coolest things I've seen off road. Oh my. Redemption! Well done! Yay! Look, we've all been guilty there. Sometimes if someone drives quite a capable vehicle, you think it's the vehicle doing the work. Nope. Only because he's not here I'm saying this. That's all, Jesse. He can wheel. You, sir, put it here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to award you <laughs> yeah. Captain of the Glasshouse Mountains. Darrow, is your car after all? It's not anymore. <laughs> You've earned it. <laughs> you don't even need to play pool. It is yours, mate. I can't play pool, so that's good. It's yours. <laughs> Holy balls. That was insane. <laughs> well, boys, that was a red hot day. The only way we could top this off is if we get a big fire going at a campsite, roll some canvas out, and maybe jump into the bottom section of my fridge. I can do one out of four, mate. One out of four. <laughs> There's a couple of great little spots to camp not far from the tracks, so we picked up one just outside of Woodford. After the excitement of today, I think it's safe to say that the boys have all earned a nice cold beer. Now, Jesse may have the rig to take on Big Red, but when it comes time to camp, you just can't go past the setup in the D-Max. It makes life out here just so much easier. What a way to wrap up an awesome day with a bit of footy with a couple of mates around the fire. If you're sitting at home thinking, I want to be there, then do it. You're not going to regret it. You guys have done extremely well on the track, there's no doubt about it, but there's one challenge, a final challenge of the day that you guys I've got a nose up to and try and see if you can drive over it. Oh, you're, not you're not going to cook, are you? Oh, I'm going to be cooking, mate. Yeah. We're yeah. close <laughs> enough to Woody that we could order pizza. Seriously, no, don't, I'll get on don't worry about I'll it. Like I said, one more challenge for the night, boys. Yeah, and right. um, I'm going to have one more quick drink and then we're going to rip into a bit of a cooking scene, right? I'll have six more because I reckon that'll end <laughs> up with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, Glasshouse Mountains, it's famous for a lot of things. It's famous for hard drives, big tracks, getting big wheel lifts, getting real scared in the driver's seat and also around the campfire because these boys have got no idea 
what's about to hit them because we're about to cook up an absolute storm. So look, I'm cooking up some steaks. And when I say steaks, I yep. mean cattleman's steaks. Oh, with the with bone. With the bone and all that sort of jazz. Normally that'd be the hero of the show. Not tonight. What's the hero of the show? Potatoes. You <laughs> Stay been, with me. Stay with me. While, it's been a while and you have changed, my friend. You've actually inspired me on this one. Okay. You actually sent me a little message during the week. I did. You, you were saying yeah, did. you were saying this could be a cool thing. You yeah. know what I mean? I think you know you're on the you're on the money here. Can so, I can I just before you go too much further? Sure. Because I said you what you're going to need is some potatoes. So you you've sort of grabbed those, and then yeah, I got <laughs> I, I got all sorts of manner of potatoes. Yeah. You know what? It's sometimes nice to just go a little different. <laughs> I don't know why the end's off that one, but well, sometimes they do that. Depends what culture. You know actually, what I mean? Yeah. That's actually far more accurate. Hang on a second. <laughs> You're wondering how this is going to work. You're just cooking potatoes, nah. right? We're going to cook these. Imagine potatoes in jackets, but just way better. Yeah, way better. I don't know whether I should be giving you this, but I'm going to. You take that. There's my knife. And you're also going to need a couple of spanners. Yeah. Correct. So what we need to do is cut through these potatoes, just little slithers through here. Now, the reason I got these spanners, we don't want to cut too deep. We don't want to cut through the bottom of them. We don't want to cut them in half or anything crazy like that. So let's try this, Graham. I've got okay, a feeling that I've got a horrible job ahead of me. Hold Can these. I hold, yeah. <laughs> so, what we're doing Make here. Make them. Oh, see, yeah, that's working. See, see, as you see, I'm not cutting down to the bottom. It's yeah. just a little fail safe. Yeah. There you go. Oh, man. Watch we're, me fingers, bro. Gonna, oh, no, I can see them. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to leave the skin on. Some of us haven't. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's that's exactly what yeah. we're after. Okay. So what we're doing here, this is exciting. It is. Yeah. All we need to do is spread the flaps. Well, and I've been practicing and it's going to take two of us here, you mate. You can't spread them too hard because you'll break them. Exactly. So what I did is got quite is thick lovely. bacon and, and it's and it's really nice bacon, this one. I'm just going to cut this up into little pieces. Where it's going to get messy is we've got to both work as a team here. So. One of us will spread and the other one will put in. Yeah, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm going to be better at spreading, you're going to be better at putting. It's thick. Yeah, it's all right. Just push it in there. It's a tight gap, man. Just push it in. You're going to ease it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> Just. <laughs> this was not what I had in mind. <laughs> You gotta spread them a bit more. I can't. <laughs> Don't break it though. I'm yes. not used to having to do that. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not making me uncomfortable. Just push it in there. <laughs> Just, oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't think the meat was gonna be that thick. That's, <laughs> all. That's all. The problem we've got now is there's a lot of tension towards the nub end. Like, I can't physically get the flaps open. Oh, no. Guys, it can be easier. Maybe, maybe you get the white potato. <laughs> That's, that's and that's it. basically what we're after. That was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Look at that for that, presentation, that actually though. Gorgeous. That's actually that gorgeous. Is. But the, beauty, the beautiful thing is that cheese is going to melt. Everything's going to melt and cook up. Right on. I'm excited about this because next? it doesn't look that pretty at the moment. What I'm doing is just putting a little bit of our four down first. Can I up you one? Oh, look at that. Yeah. That is that is gorgeous, bro. So not all of them are that good. There's Graham coming in. <laughs> oh, look, there's Jock. We'll get rid of him. <laughs> right, now, you're gonna need some uh, polyunsaturated? Correct, put that on top. I'm gonna go a bit of salt on top of that and a uh, little bit of pepper. So the butter is gonna go across the top of a lot of it. We're gonna put a fair bit of butter in, Graham. Now, as you put that butter in, I'm gonna go a bit of a paprika. And guys, what we're dealing with here is the Dirty Sanchez potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I hope you do yourself a favor and cook these up because these are Absolutely amazing. It looks fantastic. Now, do you want to put a knob in there, in the middle uh, of, of sure. garlic? Because if we just nestle that bad boy in there, we we'll cut the top off. That was actually the plan. And we we'll do that because that'll roast in the yeah. middle. Basically, chuck that on the coals, probably 45 minutes. We've got a couple of steaks to go on now. What are we thinking here, mate? Mate. That's look, a big old thick look at, boy. Look how thick they are. Yeah, they, they are amazing. And now, I reckon those potatoes need about 45 to about 50 minutes. At 180. And these guys, they're gonna, I'm gonna sizzle them. Yep. Really hot. Yep. And then the coals are gonna die down. Mm -hmm. They're gonna slow cook right through. Look at you. What I need is what a tiny need? bit of um, yeah, olive yeah, oil. Yeah, I'll drizzle, I'll do the jizzle on your drizzle. It's gonna, yeah. gonna massage that straight oh, there's through. There's something about this, isn't there? I'm Flip them. I'm gonna turn them. <laughs> yep, that's it, that's it, that's Look, it. These are big steaks. And they need love too. 
<laughs> I'm going to come on in here hot with some salt. Sure. Really salt those up. Salt and pepper on both sides. This is Chefery 101. Well, I barbecue plate. <laughs> Holy, Holy balls, look man. At, look at the steam of that. Have Jeez, a go at this. so good. Have a go at this. I just want to, before you call the boys in, yeah. I'm going to go the big one. Oh, you're going to go the big one? Yeah, absolutely. Do you we can just have a little try before the boys come in? Just because. Imagine. Hey, are you picking, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, are you, are you picking the good ones before we get in here? Yeah, what's the oh, man. Look at that. That is. Oi, 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 there's one there for you. Oh, sorry. I thought that was Smoky. Mine. Smoky, Smoky goodness. Mm. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Have another one. Thank you. Yeah, How good yep. is that, boys? We've got cattleman steak. We've got spuds with a lot. And um, I think that's about is, as good as it gets. The trick with this is just have a go at that, that bacon. Mm. The bacon. Oh, man. And the spuds have absorbed the flavour. I just spat. doesn't matter. The cheese has gone the, in between them. The golden goodness. Oh, man. Well, this is something else. I'm going to need to sit down, I think. Yeah, I agree. Yep. What do you reckon? Mm. Cheers, mm. boys. To the fire. <laughs> How good's that, man? How it's actually that? really good. Mm. Now, if you're thinking of doing tough tracks, you're really going to need a winch. Now, I'll introduce you to this one. This is Runva's brand new 11 XP, but not like you've seen before, because this one here is exclusive to fourwheeldrive247.com. It's got some really neat features you're not going to find anywhere else. Now, one of the cool things, it's got an upgraded clutch system, so the free spool works really well. It's got a brand new red uh, rope, which has a protective sheath over it, so it's going to last and also be really practical. It's got an upgraded hook, which I find the best way to attach a winch to any sort of recovery gear. Um, speaking of recovery gear as well, if you do get one of these, you're going to get a free winch ring plus a soft shackle. Now here's a feature, I'll save this one to last because it's one of my favourites as well. This is a, a in-cab kit. Now it comes with the winch so you can actually run your winch controllers from inside the cab. Um, I've got that on the Dirty 30 and I reckon it's the absolute bee's knees. So if you want to take advantage of this one, it's only available in limited stock right now at fullwheeldrive247.com. It's another hot and humid day here in Queensland, so we've got the rigs packed up nice and early to get a jump on the heat. Well, that's not too bad at all. Been running the fridge, the camp lights. In fact, the camera crew even, they've commandeered my inverter and they're charging all their batteries off it as well. So 45% have only got one battery in this one. That's not too bad. As you start driving today, of course, that'll charge right back in no time at all. Big day, big day. We aren't done here yet, and we've got two gnarly tracks lined up for the day, as well as a couple of legends who will also be joining us for the day. Hey, mate, how are you? Good how are you, man? Dan, <laughs> Graham. Good to see you, mate. Reese is a huge fan of the show, so we've flown him down from Townsville to jump in the rigs with us to show him around the glass house. Now, Reese is a keen four wheel driver, but unfortunately, he's legally blind and can't drive a 4B himself. But that hasn't stopped the legend from wanting to jump into a rig and give it a crack. Reese, mate, you're riding shotgun with Sean. Just make sure you hold on tight, buddy. <laughs> you look a bit worried. Parked in a bit of a, a, bit of a hole there. She gets a workout. First off-road trip, is it, this one? This is its first real one, yeah. Imagine that. Brand new vehicle, straight to the Glasshouse Mountains. Yeah. Drive some of the wildest tracks out of here. But, I mean, it does it. The first track we're aiming for today is a well-known track called Sandstone. It's a pretty wild climb followed by a huge rock step up at the top. Well, Reese, big question, mate. How'd you go walking up here? <laughs> Bit of a challenge? Yeah. You know you got your work cut out when it's hard to walk up, and there's so many different lines. Last time I tried to take this one, I didn't say it. It wasn't very successful. I sort of had to wheel up that tree. No, 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 no. I lost my brakes about there, and I come back at a rate of knots. Straight back off the edge. Dan, I need you to start thinking about what line you're going to take through here, mate. Um, as for me, <laughs> OK, you've, keys are in the centre console. <laughs> Have a go. Righto, well, let's give it a go, shall we? Yeah. Rightio, big uh, sandstone rock step here. And everyone drives the uh, left-hand line. It's actually quite committing. No one drives this line, so I'm just sort of doing it to show that you always have to do the, the line that's got the most wheel tracks on it. Sometimes, when you get real close to things, you actually turn into them. 
and that throws the car away from them. And again, Jesse has shown us a masterclass in four-wheel driving. That's a bloody good drive, mate. I mean, that just looks so easy, but it's not. I reckon that's the safest line on the track. You've got nowhere to fall, it's not committing. Oh, beautiful horse paint job. He's unscathed. Only thing about that, it's a nice, easy line, but you're so close to that tree, and the body, like my body's gonna wanna flex into Big it, time. the canopy and all that sort of jazz. Big time. Look, I think I can't do this alone. Reese. if you wouldn't mind, mate. I, uh, you should have a bit of confidence by now watching me drive. Yeah, he looks, yeah, he's brimming with confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a go at this. This is, um, I don't know about this one, to be honest with you. This is pretty wild. Oh! You gotta give that a drive, don't you? Uh, I'd, up here. Yeah, I'd go back, hard left hand down, and then we'd drive you up here. Yeah, stop there and see hard this way. That doesn't feel good, Jesse Gleason. You sure? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's gonna come up, we're just doing that to get the back to go where we want to. Okay. Was it just me who went myself or you two? <laughs> yeah, right. That was a good drive. Good drive. That was fun. Yeah, well, well spotted, mate. Graham's going for the slow and steady approach up a really narrow section of rock. Get it wrong, you're in all sorts of hurt. You get it right, and you should just smoothly drive up here. So let's give this a shot, eh? Nice and slow. You gotta go that way a bit. Oh, lovely, oh, lovely. <laughs> he would have not wanted to see what his back toe was doing there. I was scared watching. It was a moment, I thought this could go either way, but if he didn't hold on, I reckon he would have lost that. Was that was commitment with a capital C. That, yeah. was, that was awesome. He's actually doing some good drives this trip. Real no. good. Oh, it's not like him, is it? No. <laughs> we got up pretty smoothly in the end. And it's okay because we're running seat covers, so we're good, Dan. Yep. <laughs> we are good. You can wash them later. <laughs> I'm going to need to wash mine more than yours, to be fair. <laughs> oh, I don't want to watch this. I'm getting yeah, out of here. You can spot him up here. If I'm you want, standing mate. behind the tree. It's a bold move. Now that's the line. <laughs> then you don't have to climb as much. Perfect. Oh, 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 yes. What a drive! Oh, what a drive. Yes! There we go. Just hug the tree. That was perfect, though. Yeah. <laughs> that clutch control was, couldn't have been any better. Well steered, boys, and with that, we've got one more little climb in mind that we reckon will really test out the nerves of Reese and Dan. And maybe us as well. Far out, Graham. I've seen, I've seen some rock steps. I didn't even think this was a track. This looked like a cliff face. It is a cliff well, face. Let's be fair, it is a cliff face. It's just this first bit. There's several rock steps up here. The good yep. news is, is once you get over this, which is vertical. I, I, it I, is. I don't believe it's drivable no. right now, but oh, I can't, I've it's, seen some it is dry, things. and that GQ is pretty Super impressive. Yep. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to watch this, mate. Let's, right. let's send him up. See how he goes. Very committing drive at the bottom of this one. You sort of just got to get on it and do what the car does. Just like that, eh? Like bad line over a tree root, who yeah. cares? <laughs> who cares? I'll do that. Senna, go on. <laughs> Not being capable. I'll tell you what, for a cheap try, now I've got Del running good, he's a glass house weapon. I just don't get it. It's just like nothing, eh? It defies logic. Ah, oh, well. I'm glad you got to see this before you see me have a go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Reese, mate, hold on to your hat for this one. It's going to be pretty wild. It's only vertical. That's exactly right. What could go wrong? This is wild. 
He's going very conservative. Trying to get very steep in a sec. You got to drive it. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not you, there. You can't crawl that step. Let's have a winch. Well, I know the 30 up, but it just keeps leaning too hard to the side, and I don't really want to do any panel damage. So, with a quick winch, it'll get me up the first step, and I should be able to tackle the rest on my own. That's a big winch. That rumba is... Oh, it's a big workout. It's a proper hill. This is... Yeah. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> it's pretty loose. Oh, oh. He's just waving oh, at us. Oh, no, I, I think I might be yeah, further than you got. Big hole. He's not. <laughs> Jesse has one good drive under his belt and he's <laughs> now Mr. Glasshouse. <laughs> oh, are you right, Jock? You can't take the banter. <laughs> huh? Well, like I've said before, I know the limits of this D-Max. And if Sean's winching up this one, think I'm going to play it safe and just get the D-Max up this first step with the winch on. He's right that now. A little bit more right. A little bit more right. More right. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he kept his cool so he good did. there, eh? He held on to the face. He's like, the boys are looking on tough. <laughs> <laughs> Got so cool. I did do a little leap. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's your ticket. That's your ticket. That's your ticket. Be right. Yeah. Hey. Go, 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 son. All the way. Go, go, go. Wheel it this way. Yep. Go, go, go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go, go. go. Yeah. Hard, 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 right. That's yeah! Done, done, done. He's it. No, he's got yeah. a he, he won't listen. <laughs> he was, back hard, he had the whites in his eyes. <laughs> he, he, I can see the end. Oh, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's like, like, I can see the ice cream. <laughs> he, just, he just came at the everything. A little bit more. Stop there. Stop there. you got to drive nearly hit that tree and then rip a hard left. Yep. Sounds easy. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing exceptionally well. That's it. Yes! Oh, holy, holy, holy McDooley. <laughs> you definitely steered too, too. too early. <laughs> thought I had it. Absolutely fine. It's thought absolutely I fine. I had it. He's only ruined three doors and a bonnet <laughs> and a roof and an awning. And that's... <laughs> Might be a winchy boy. But that's an epic effort to drive here. Oh. And you could have driven this bit if you'd have saved a bit more, so. Yeah, no I think you went a bit too far that way, but <laughs> you got up it. It's a pretty wild drive. Yeah. Well, a smile from Reese is all I need to know that that was a bloody good effort. With a quick winch, the mighty D-Max is up. Well played, sir. Well done. Well done, mate. It's not me, it was all Dan. Oh, he's run away. Dan doesn't even want to be here. He's gone. <laughs> he's being sick last time we saw him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. Tell you what, Graham did an absolute ripper of a job. We'll take a little bit of inspiration out of his run. There he goes. Up we go. Yeah. Give it a drive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, Where are you going? Give that, that a drive. Space. What an over. Buddy oh, you haven't got the lean, Sean Scott. Where you going? Where are you going? That's, that's, that's a winch. winch. That's a winch. <laughs> that's a big no. <laughs> now, as has seen the last two Forbies winch up, and with probably the heaviest rig in the convoy, he's opted for the winch for the first step. And I think that's a good call, mate. But the rest of his drive is nothing short of spectacular.
It's just a beautiful thing to watch, mate. Nice. Nice. Too easy for us. Oh my goodness. Lovely. He's done it. It's a thing of beauty. Oh, just perfectly steered up through yeah. that. A perfect line, yeah. actually. Yes! <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys, we haven't stopped laughing, we haven't stopped smiling. It's been a good day. Big tracks with yep. some great mates. Now, I'm going to put the question to you, mate. I'm not going to let any of these guys answer it. Out of 10, what do you rate today in terms of fun? 10. 10. 10. Oh, 10. It's a perfect 10. No hesitation. Exactly right. I've got to agree with you, mate. This is a red hot day. One of my favourites. Can I, can I ask a question? Is that okay? Go, go for it. I want you to give us, in your honest opinion, don't no. take any sides here. Best drive of the day. Who was it? Come on, buddy. <laughs> I mean, threw this in the car, we rehearsed it, man. Come on. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Get him out of here, Dan. Oh. <laughs> like, the guy's clever. I mean, he just knows he knows what's up. That's all oh, I can say. And, and I just want to thank you for coming out today because we've had an absolute ball hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's been a red-hot day. It has been a pleasure. You obviously can't tell a good drive from a bad, but <laughs> good on you. Thanks again. Good on you guys. Really right. enjoyed yeah. the day. Awesome it's fantastic. Media. Well, what a day and what a week we've had in the glass house. It's been one heck of an adventure. But I'm in one of those sort of knackered and yet extremely satisfied moods. And so you should be. We've had a big couple of days. A lot's going on. Mate, I, I got nowhere to be tomorrow. How about this for a plan? Crack a frothy, light a fire, get the swag set up and take the night off, mate. Ah, oh, sign me up. Let's get into it, boys. Glasshouse Mountains. I've got to say, mate, one of my favourite glasshouse trips I have ever done. I'm going to go one step further and say that that was my favourite glasshouse trip I've ever done. It was, it was just a good bunch of blokes, some good everyone, drives all around. Fire, good drives. Yeah, I agree. Everyone had magic drives today, yeah, but I've got to give the, the award. It's got to be given out. Yeah. Maddest bastard I know <laughs> yeah. goes to this guy over here. It's, sure. it's, got, to, for? it's got to be, mate. Just what? unhinged, bro. Well, right, I'll say cheers to that, mate. Yeah. Cheers. cheers. Get out of here now. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, a cheers. Cheers, cheers, mate. Cheers, cheers, mate. What yeah. a stitch up. We'll catch you next time on Full Ride 24, 24 7. 7. Give us that beer back, you <laughs> dog. <laughs> oh, you great. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Right, mate. Come on down. Sound like Larry Ender on the prices, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing, I'm guessing $500 <laughs> worth of damage. G'day, my name's Jesse Gleason and I like four wheel drive. I think he's my favourite. Oh, I'm so hot and flustered. That takes a certain set of coconuts to come up a track like this. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, crack them open and drink the juice inside, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm a farmer. If you're wearing a red shirt in rock, Rule that you've got to shout the beers for the boys at camp. It's just one of those rules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cut, cut. Nah. Sit and ponder. I'm not going to have that level of commitment. No, I'm, I I'm, suggest you don't. <laughs> right. I'm throwing it out there. Yeah, I, I, I find that. commitment difficult at times. <laughs> I'm going this way. <laughs> what? Oh, what? It's steep. <laughs> what sort of belt are you wearing there, big fella? Is that a pen in your pocket? I'm really slow, nice and calm. It's a new day, new me. Might help if I do this, Jesse. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that open? Hang on. We both do that. <laughs> <laughs> when it's weird, shake it out. That's what I always say. I need a fart. I need a fart. Nah. Laughed at it. Yeah. Oh, that That's a real laugh, mate. Yeah. I was hoping it was real loud. I really squeezed it. Jesus. <laughs> That's trying to prove me out now. That's a poo shooter, that is. Yeah. GQ TB42, God's engine, is in front of us. It's the pinnacle of motor vehicles. You're the pinnacle of talking absolute trash right now, mate. I don't even know. What am I doing? Walking around. Yeah, I don't walk around as well. <laughs> I'm just. I'm, just, I'm, just I'm like a minion. I don't know where to go. <laughs> Watching you drive up Glass House today, it wasn't Glass House. I had a snot come out too. It's totally. <laughs> it, well, it threw me out. Hey, Graham, copy, mate. Yeah, buddy, I got you.